Stories told from an animal's perspective have been around for ages, typically with anthropomorphic characters in fantastical settings. When Black Beauty was published in 1877, it saw the rise of what's considered the realistic animal story. Written by Anna Sewell, the novel is narrated by a horse in the first person, but although he expresses a wide range of thoughts, he doesn't otherwise act like a human. Rather, the story enables us to see the world through the eyes of a horse living in Victorian England. As Black Beauty moves from the countryside to 19th century London, we gain insight into the treatment of horses at a time when they were essential working animals in nearly every industry. For centuries, horses had been the primary source of power for agriculture, transportation, mining, construction, factory work, and even warfare. The introduction of steam power helped to reduce their workload, but Victorian society still couldn't function without horses. Black Beauty sheds light on the factors that often led to animal cruelty, from the vanity of high society to the financial hardships of the working class. Black Beauty is often considered a children's classic, but it also had a larger purpose. Anna Sewell intended for her writing to induce kindness, sympathy, and an understanding treatment of horses. And this it did, through vivid imagery and simple, lyrical prose. It's thought that the character of Black Beauty himself was loosely based on one of the author's own horses, Bessie. From a young age, Anna loved horses, and after suffering serious ankle injuries, she often had to rely on her horse-drawn carts and carriages to get around. During the last several years of her life, Anna was confined to her house due to her failing health. With the help of her mother, she was able to write and publish Black Beauty. She called it an animal autobiography, different from other animal stories at the time. The novel made a direct impact and was instrumental in encouraging better treatment of horses and addressing harmful practices. For readers at the time, the story placed a harsh spotlight on the cruelty of the bearing rain, as well as the practice of docking a horse's tail, inhumane treatment of horses by cab drivers, and other ailments suffered by horses in general. Not only did Black Beauty help to revolutionize the use of storytelling in animal rights, it paved the way for more stories that featured horses. These were not necessarily told from a horse's point of view, but focused on the bond between humans and horses, often exploring the themes of transformation and redemption. Black Beauty is also seen as the forerunner of pony book fiction, which was increasingly popular over the last century. These pony stories make up a specific group of equestrian children's stories that revolve around kids and teens who share a love of horses. Today, although domestic horses are still used for working purposes, most are involved in equestrian sports or are kept as pets. Certainly, horses play a different role in the lives of humans than they used to, but books like Black Beauty have helped people to realize the value of treating all creatures with love, kindness, and respect.